So I remember one particular Monday morning, our regional sales manager called an end of quarter emergency sales meeting because our division was way far behind on quota. And they were trying to pull out all the stops to bring in some more revenue. Unfortunately, this had actually become a pretty standard behavior among many other forms of micromanagement that I had just had enough of. And it already pushed me to the point of extreme burnout. Now, keep in mind, I had already made my quota number. You'd think that I would have been excluded from these kinds of meetings, but no. By that point, I hated my job so much, I had so much underlying incessant anxiety that I was ready to hit eject on my own little escape pod at any moment. The good news is that I had already started these two side hustles that I'm going to talk about today that allowed me to jettison my last corporate job just a few months later. So you may be saying, I want to quit my job, but I don't know what to do. So I want to offer you these two side hustle ideas today that can help you get started in that direction. And two great things about what I'm going to share today is one, they can be done while you're still doing your day job, and I think you probably should do that. Number two, they can also ultimately allow you to leave your day job by replacing the income of your day job. So let's get into it. Number one, a service-based business. This is really the quickest path to income. You can start by asking yourself, what skills do you already have that you can monetize? It could be like, could you be a coach or a consultant? Could you become a virtual assistant for someone? Can you do web design or graphic design, writing, video, or podcast editing, or are those skills that that you're willing to learn to try to monetize. Now, I didn't know any of these before I started my blog back in about the middle of 2018. But what's cool is that I was able to learn and start monetizing those skills apart from my blog while I was still doing my corporate job. So last year, for example, I was able to earn an extra $24,000 with a skill set, and that's digital marketing that I didn't even have before I started my financial coaching practice, you know, a few years ago. And, and it's really cool because you know, I would say just get started and you'll start to accumulate the skills that you need as you go and you'll be able to monetize them in pretty short order in most cases. Now, the great thing about a service-based business is that you can charge much more than you can with small ticket digital products or even with affiliate sales. Those take a little bit of time to kind of gin up. Now, number two is to start a YouTube channel or become an influencer of some kind. Now, I personally started my YouTube channel in 2019, May of 2019, after I had actually been coaching uh, for a a couple of years and I started my blog. So as I got into blogging and I really started to understand content marketing, I started to realize how valuable video was and I forced myself to get over my camera shyness and start publishing YouTube videos. But the cool thing about this is that it's really paid off handsomely. Most of my leads come from video now. Uh, and so I see it as a, a very, very valuable resource or a very valuable skill to learn. Again, this checks the two buckets. It can be done while you're still doing your day job. And two, it can ultimately allow you to leave your day job by replacing that income. And so again, this is going to take some more time, but if you're disciplined, if you're interested in it and you keep learning, you keep upping your skill set and you stick with it for the long haul, it will pay off. Uh, one of the cool things that you can start doing to, you know, it's going to take some time to make some money is affiliate marketing where you're recommending products you use or that you do reviews uh, and that'll give you a percentage of the sales. Also ad revenue once you monetize your YouTube channel. Again, YouTube is a great thing to start as a side hustle. You can take your time when you have a day job. There's no pressure. You can experiment with topics, content formats, things you like to talk about, things that people want to hear more about. You know, you can kind of gauge that by your audience's response. And you can see if you like this space overall without any pressure. And again, this will take a little bit longer than number one, unless you just happen to hit an algorithm just right. But even then, you know, if you have a viral video, it doesn't guarantee longevity. I've had a couple of viral videos and after the viral video, my next videos are, you know, back to the normal of, you know, barely being seen, you know, especially in the early part of my YouTube channel. I think this approach of starting either of these as a side hustle while you still have a corporate or a day job, rather than quitting your day job with no financial net and having all the pressure of one, you know, having to learn an entirely new skill set with two, the economic pressure of paying the bills. I mean, that's just really, really difficult. Now, what you're actually doing, if you embark on either one of these journeys, is that you've actually really started the foundation of an online business, just like I did about four years ago without really even understanding what I was doing. So I started a local financial coaching practice to start helping people with basic skills like budgeting, debt elimination, and investing. Then after about a year and a half of hustling and trying to get leads by going to chamber events, chamber meetings, networking meetings, I was able to do both of these things while my corporate job was still covering the bills and actually helping my wife and I work toward 
you know, greater financial independence. All that to say, I'm a huge fan of this approach because one, it's sustainable, and two, there's basically no risk. Another thing to keep in mind is that with the financial stability of a current job, you may have extra resources, extra money, extra capital to invest in some courses and or some one-to-one -one coaching to maybe shorten your learning curve and to help you get to results and profitability even faster. I think that's a great, great strategy to, to undergo. It really all depends on how fast you want to eject yourself from your crappy corporate job like I was able to do. It's awesome and totally worth your efforts. I mean, both of these. So if you really want to get out of your job, I would highly recommend, again, starting a side hustle because it can be done while you're still doing your day job and you can ultimately generate enough income to leave your day job by replacing that or at least getting close to replacing that. So with that in mind, I want to offer you my free start an online business quick start guide. The link is in the video description below. And this is really just a six step simple guide to help you get up and running so that you can have a platform in place to one, start a service based business like I did with my financial coaching practice and two, start a platform or a YouTube channel and grow your skill set and your business as a side hustle that will help you escape your job just like I was able to do a little over two years ago. It's pretty awesome. You know, more than anything, I just want to leave you with the truth that if you really hate your corporate job, like I did, I hated it, I, I, I empathize with you, there is absolutely a way out. All you need is a strategy, consistency, and a healthy bit of community, and you can create a solid side hustle that will allow you to leave your crappy corporate job and pursue something you're actually interested in and actually enjoy and really actually makes a difference in people's lives. So go down my free guide and let's get you started. And if you haven't seen my quick video on, on how to start an online business, just click over to this video and I'll see you over there.